So, of course, the Batley and Spen by-election saved Keir Starmer's leadership uh, by just a few hundred votes. No doubt, in my mind, had Labour lost that by-election, which they very nearly did, then you would have probably seen a full-scale leadership challenge to Keir Starmer and massive infighting in the Labour ranks. But though Starmer's leadership survives and probably will survive now, I imagine, until the next general election, there are major, major problems for the Labour Party. And the latest YouGov poll really does highlight this. I'm going to dig into the numbers, guys, but please start off as ever by making sure you've hit subscribe and the bell. If you don't miss my next video, I would really appreciate it. So yeah, this is the latest YouGov poll. And what it shows at uh, the top line is the Conservatives have a 12-point lead, which if Labour were anywhere near, as an opposition party, if they were anywhere near uh, forming the next government at this stage of the electoral cycle, they should be well ahead, but they're not. They're 12 points behind the Conservatives who are on 42, Labour 30, uh, the Lib Dems 9 and the Greens on 7. But here's the thing, and it's something that I think has been skirted over elsewhere, something that I really th have seen consistently in these polls is that when you look at the class of voters, when you look at middle class voters compared to working class voters, you do consistently see this trend. And what it shows you, for instance, in this YouGov poll is that with middle class voters, the Tories have a pretty narrow lead, just a five point lead there, 38 to 33 when it comes to middle class voters. But when it comes to working class voters, just look at this. The Conservatives are on 48, Labour 25. So that's a 23 point Conservative lead with working class voters compared to a much narrower five point lead with middle class voters. And we've seen this time and time again. When you go into the geography of voters in this YouGov poll, it shows you something very interesting as well. It shows you that London, in London, yes, Labour have a 13-point lead. However, outside of London, it's looking pretty devastating for the Labour Party still. You've got the, in the south of England, outside of London, the Conservatives have a massive 25-point lead. In the Midlands slash Wales, that's how YouGov do it, the Conservatives have a 19-point lead. That's uh, in the Midlands slash Wales. When it comes to the north of England, the Conservatives are leading there as well by five points. So the point is this. There's a lot of commentary uh, chasing around the by-election result, the aftermath of that. And of course, that has boosted Keir Starmer. As I said, that's probably kept him in place now until the next general election. But when you look at the balance of working class support, where there is not just a small lead, but a 23-point Conservative lead. When you look at the north of England, there's a Conservative lead. When you look at the Midlands slash Wales, there's nearly a 20-point lead. And when you look at the rest of the south of England, outside of London, a 25-point Conservative lead. So clearly, while Starmer's uh, position as leader uh, is much safer now, after Labour held on to the Batley and Spen constituency. The underlying factors have not gone away. Labour are in massive, massive trouble. You look at the poll numbers beneath just the headlines. Do let me in the comments below, guys. Is there anything the Labour Party could do to win your support? How do you feel about Boris Johnson's Conservatives at the moment? Do let me know in the comments below, guys. And as ever, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a quick thumbs up. Make sure you hit the join button, see the link in the top pinned comment if you would like to support my channel. And of course, guys, as ever, Thank you so much for watching.